Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Libra, how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Libra, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Libra and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And Libra, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Libra. Uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Libra, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, mm, the five of wands. Did you guys have an argument or a fight or conflict of some sort? Maybe that's still going on, I don't know. From what I'm feeling, well, one person really loves the other. There is a overflowing cup of love pouring out. But I have a feeling uh, either this person has, is lying or they're unable to express this love. They don't know how to articulate it or they don't know how to tell person that person that the love that they're feeling. Because the other person from what I'm seeing is uh, feeling this connection is just out of whack now. It's not balanced anymore. Uh, maybe they don't want to repeat another cycle with person their, their person now. So, well, we'll uh, clarify these cards and figure things out. Let's start uh, with your dialogue message cards, uh, Libra. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then we'll clarify the rest. So, Libra. Libra and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Libra and that person. Libra and their person. Let's take a few more Libra from another deck. Libra and their person. Libra and their person spirit. They are Libra, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. The first card here says, Telling you that I need you now will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. See? I told you, somebody is going to find it really difficult to speak their truth about how they feel now. Telling you now that I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. I'm afraid that if I come back into your life, that I'll hurt you again. It's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you're taking so long to commit. I want to reach out but scared of what you might say. Missing you so much, we truly did have something special. Secretly doing things behind your back. Waiting on you to forgive me, I promise I can change. Alright Libra, these were some of your messages. So let's start your reading, of course with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you first as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Libra. Commitment. <laughs> Somebody has got commitment on their mind Libra it seems. But when I get this card, at least for myself when I take out this card and I've read up on it, it also says when you get it for like a person, if I take it out for myself, the first and foremost thing you have to do Libra is first commit to yourself. Okay, love yourself, commit to yourself because if you don't love yourself and you don't commit to your own happiness, you cannot commit to anyone else. It's like being on that aircraft which says, you know, in cases of whatever danger or something, you have to put the oxygen mask on your face first. If you survive, you can help anyone else. So yes, first and foremost, this message is for you to fully love and commit to yourself before you're ready to offer commitment to anyone else. 
All right, Libra, let's start now with person A's energy. Um, then, of course, we'll move on to person B's energy after that. So forget person B, let's concentrate on person A. Of course, you could be either side, you would know. So person A, Ace of Cups, what's that in your feelings? Okay, so person A wants, person A really, really wants to tell the truth now. They want to unburden their heart. They want to say something. They want to communicate this to person B, but they are so scared to send that first message. If you guys are not talking and if the onus is on person A to be the one to message first, they do want communication, but they don't know how to begin. How, how do I begin to tell you that I'm feeling all this love? Why is that? Why are you feeling this way, person A? What's the king of swords in reverse? <laughs> okay. Oh, they did something in the past. They did something in the past and now they're very confused. They're very confused. They're feeling very embarrassed and ashamed and very confused as to how now to be able to try again. How, how, do, I, how do I make this work? How do I try again? Maybe in the... What is really burdening this person, person A, in their feelings, what is really overwhelming them is because of their maybe past behavior of not offering a commitment or doing something which probably did bring any emotional happiness to either of you. They are now a little embarrassed uh, to speak up. Simple, straight, simple, in straight, simple English language. They are just shy. They are just shy to now open up to something that they, they never did or said in the past. So what happened, uh, person A, in the past that you are feeling this way? Eight of Cups in reverse. What happened? Eight of Cups in reverse. What happened? Oh. Okay, so they had a chance. They had a chance to step up. Maybe in the past there was a return of something. Maybe you guys came back together. Somebody had a chance to either show up as an emperor and do the right thing. Uh, but... Maybe this person was still in that immature energy, still being a player, still being a little childish. Uh, they could have delayed. They could have delayed that, that offer. They could have delayed behaving like an emperor and doing the right thing. Uh, I think uh, they are, their person could have dropped them because of that. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there was injustice. Uh, that person, I think this is person B, who was the perfect partner. This, this was the perfect partner, I think, who met up or returned back to this emperor's life and instead of doing the right thing Libra Libra card justice in reverse somebody didn't do the right thing do, didn't do right by this empress behaved like a player towards them take, took too long to you know mature up or they, they were just so happy being in their little you know night energy of playboy and you know player energy um, I think this empress could have just kind of dropped this connection altogether saying, hey, I'm not dealing with a knight. I really thought you were an emperor and they were. I have a feeling they were, but they were trying to delay being coming into their real self and happily, you know, enjoying their time as a knight. So it's almost like, you know, when you have to go to school and your mom tells you that you know finish packing your bag the school bus is going to be here and say okay one more one more video game or one more so just somebody just took too long and they got dropped am i right person a is that what happened is that what happened yeah the queen of uh, wands could have turned their back on them maybe because uh, in their night energy they were still checking out to see if the grass is greener on the other side is there anybody else you know i have this queen of pentacles here uh, let me kind of um, sow my wild oats for a little while before i say yes yes i'm your emperor i think this person always knew it they knew they were meant to be that emperor who was a equal counterpart but they delayed it because they were having a little fun and in that much time this other person could have shut them down. So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? 
person A says there is no communication Om Kara Taro, I don't know what to do, we are not talking to each other. Yeah, I'm sitting here in isolation trying to figure things out on my own and uh, well, maybe listen to tarot readings to figure out how my person is feeling. Could you just stop my side and go to their side and tell me what is happening there because I don't have the answers. I'm trying to figure out on my own. I've been alone now. Uh, all my player ways are over and I don't have a chance now to go back to them because there's no communication between us. I really do want to do the right thing now. What I didn't do in the past, I didn't bring balance and justice at that point, right? But now I'm ready. I want to do the right thing now. So what's the justice that you want to bring? What, uh, what is this justice card for you, person A? What is this justice card? Okay. All right. Yeah, I think first, first and foremost, what person A wants to do that uh, they want to acknowledge the fact that uh, well, they disrespected this empress. They did disrespected their empress because they are showing up as an emperor here. They now now realizing that they were rude or disrespected an empress. They they are the ones who created this imbalance and this connection. Uh, in their quiet time of, you know, sitting and thinking, they are now recognizing the fact that they never made, gave that offer. This this offer was straight from heaven. Now they recognize it. Maybe this, at that point they were maybe in their player energy. They had many other offers. They didn't see how special this connection was. So they want to actually go and talk to person B. They want communication. First and foremost, they want to talk. They want to move forward towards this empress now to well explain um, maybe their past selfish behavior or their why they did what they did I don't know I don't know whether they have the guts to take that action though why is the knight of wands still in reverse then person A why is the knight of wands they are scared because the reason they are not taking that action right now Normally, the, any other tarot reader would uh, say, oh, Knight of Wands in reverse, recognizing their selfish behavior. Yes, that is true. They, they would have been very selfish, self-centered in the past. But the way I am seeing it here with the King of Swords energy, this person wants to talk but is unable to take action. Why? Because they know they've totally ruined this connection. They've hurt an empress. They've, they've rejected a soulmate. And the reason why they're not taking action is they are fearing that this empress may have moved on with a new love. So what action they will most likely take? I'll open later, Libra. Let's move on to the other side and see how person B is feeling. Person B, you have the temperance card in reverse. Why is that in your feelings? Person B says too much imbalance. Oh, 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 Omkara Taro now, yes, it was a soulmate connection. I always knew it. But, you know, they created such an imbalance that now bad memories have been created in this connection. This was such a repetitive cycle. It just went on and on and on. So then, world in reverse. I just got out of it. I got out of it. I was so tired of the stress and tension and um, the imbalance that there, there was in this connection. You know, I, the amount of nights I spent, you know, worrying, crying, not sleeping. I just decided to get myself out of the cycle. Is that right, person B? Yeah, because there was no emotional happiness offered. Person A wasn't acknowledging this connection that we could have a ten of cups together. So what was the point? So what happened that you've made a decision like this person B? What happened in the recent past? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Oh, this person was ready for action. Person B, the Queen of Wands, knew what she wanted. They were absolutely clear on this connection. They, they were excited about the connection. They were planning the future. They saw Person A as, you know, somebody that they wanted to spend the rest of their life with. They were absolutely clear in their mind, ready for action. But something happened here which put them into this uh, spot. 
self-imposed prison, stress, tension. What happened? That's what I want to know personally. What happened with the Eight of Swords? What got you so stressed out? Oh, Queen of Wands again. Ah, so, well, I don't know what happened, but there could have been a tower moment between the two of you. But after that tower moment, somebody felt here that they were made to feel not good enough or a loser or um, they felt that person was constantly putting them down and this person B could have always just been stressed and worried about why that person was making them feel not good enough. I think person B, person B could have allowed this tower to fall and saying this time, this time, the rebirth that I'm going to have, I'm not going to repeat a cycle with you, I'm going for a rebirth of my own life. I am transforming my life, I was the queen of wands and I am going to regain my power as the queen of wands. Person B healed themselves very, very quickly. They made a choice, they made an active decision. I'm not going to rebuild with you. The only rebuilding that will happen, it will happen for me, by me, for, for myself. So somebody tried to diminish this Queen of Wands confidence. And I think person B saw it and said, uh-uh, you can't do that to me. So, okay, so how do you feel about the connection now, person B? Person B says, well, I'm looking to see what else is out there. I'm totally healed now. I'm totally healed. This uh, connection has come to an end. I've turned my back. There was nothing. Uh, all they gave me was heartbreak. They brought no strength to the connection. Uh, this connection is totally stagnant, Omkara Taro, now. From, from my side, I've already turned my back. And I'm, I'm now the one who's, well, looking out to see what else is out there exactly what person A was doing in the past. So what's the star card, person B? What's the star card? Person B says, I'm opening up now. I'm opening up to new people, new cycles, because I feel, I feel if I open up to person A again for a reunion, it's going to end up the same way. So, well, yes, I'm, I've shut this chapter down. I've got my boundaries up. I've got my guard up now. I'm totally healing or healed. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Libra. And, uh, well, while I shuffle, I'm going to request you now to please hit that like button. It really helps the videos to circulate a little more and yes it makes me very happy thank you so much and uh, newcomers when you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell that way then youtube can uh, remind you notify you whenever new videos are uploaded thank you okay so person a action from your end page of swords in reverse why is that why is the page of swords in reverse in action Why is the Page of Swords in reverse an action from your end? Two of Pentacles. What else? Tell me more. Tell me more. What's the action? No, that's too many. Action from person A. King of Swords again. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. All right. One more. The Emperor, all right, all right. Okay, so I have a feeling person A could be right now contemplating, thinking, maybe relying on some gossip, on some rumors before they come in. They know the choice is with them now. They are going back and forth in their mind, trying to make up their mind. 
somewhere I think this person is ready. They're ready to talk. They're ready to, you know, be that emperor. They are ready to put in the work. But they are a little worried, it seems. <laughs> they're a little worried that if they do take action, it may end up in another fight or they could also be spying or or listening to some gossip and rumor trying to figure out if uh, this person B has other options or they'll have to compete with others. So what does that mean for you person A? Will you take any action or not? What's the action that you intend to take? Forget the others. Two of pentacles again. Yeah, they are, they are not sure of how to take action or what action how to take this action they, they but they're very clear what they want they want the ten of pentacles but they fear this person b would not allow them in not this is like holding back they're fearing maybe person b will hold back from them so what does that mean i still don't see you taking any action i see a lot of thoughts here person a what is the action you intend to take directly to person b Don't tell me you're going to sit and wish upon a star. Come on. Yeah, they don't know what, what action to take. They're going back and forth. Two of pentacles twice already. Yeah, and the two of wands. See, this is confirmation. <laughs> two of pentacles came out twice. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Uh, they are, they're wishing, hoping to be given a chance, but they're not sure whether they will be allowed in. They feel person B is going to hold back. There may be a lot of competition. They may be trying to figure out from gossip and rumor whether there is... How long is the line for person B? How, how, how much, who all will I have to compete with? So they're trying to gather the information before, but they are ready. They are ready to, if given a clean signal, they would happily come and, you know, put in the work all right so person b what about you what action will you take towards person a or otherwise the devil why is that an action person b why is the devil an action towards person a Ooh. oh oh okay Person B somewhere still believes that person A is very toxic because of all these arguments, fights, whatever's happened in the past, person B is still not ready to trust that they will not break their heart again. Person B could be moving on, could be moving on or at least thinking of moving on or leaving person A behind now, maybe moving towards somebody new, an air sign, no sorry, a fire sign, or at least starting, slowly starting maybe communicating with somebody new here. They, they, according to person B, person A is a heartbreaker. I want to walk away from this heartbreaker. This was too toxic. So does that mean you won't take any action towards person A, person B? Any action from your end? No, this person B, whenever they look at the past, they are now associating this past person as sadness, regret, uh, unhappiness, feeling left out in the cold. Person B could be getting onto their little boat and saying, I'm, I'm leaving conflict behind Omkara Taro. I'm going towards my peace. I'm going towards my peace and happiness. This became too toxic. I'm ready to start maybe somewhere else. But first and foremost, this is what I'm doing. I'm leaving my pain behind, my heartbreak behind and I'm moving away. Yes, person B is first and foremost committing to themselves, which is a good thing which is a good thing. At least that this is for this week. Now let's see how the story will progress uh, in the future. But as of now, this is it. 
okay so that's all i have for you libra till next time then love and light take care namaste